just look at that that is absolutely superb welcome to backyard chef i'm rick today we are going to cook a roast pork dinner this could be an alternative for your christmas dinner now i've got a pork roast from the supermarket and i can tell you right now it's terrible now i was expecting a whole solid piece of meat and we were going to butterfly it out and everything this is in bits it's quite shocking actually but what we're going to do we're still going to try and chop it out best we can and stuff it so let's give it a go i mean look at it it's already got the fat cap that's already been scored and everything and it's got this piece of meat but we're going to have to try and slice this up try and get the best out of it we can which is looking a bit hard actually to be quite honest so what we might have to do is just do the best we can and then tie it up i mean that's not, that is only just joined so really we could take that off there let's get that off there that's it that's that's how crappy this is right not to worry meat fat cap do we want all that fat i do want to take some out now while we can let's take a little bit out let's come in here and get rid of some of this we don't need that So well, that's our fat cap and we're going to use that skin and that'll crisp over. So just put that to one side a minute and then we look at this. This is rubbish, you know, but we got some pork on there. We can always roll it in. So let's have that off there and we're going to get rid of all that gunge. We don't need that gunge. Here's our meat look at the state of that it looks like pork collar so what we need to try and do is butterfly out as best we can so oh dear let's come in here So with a rubbish piece of meat like this, you've just got to try and get it as thin as possible so we can actually roll it inside. I mean, this is quite shocking. But you know, this is where you turn a crappy piece of meat like this into a good meal. Okay, that's our shocking piece of meat there, look. What we need to do is we need to go on, on there with some sage and onion stuffing. Now, this sage and onion stuffing is the nation's favorite. So just get that on there. Get it in any which way you can. We're gonna probably have to make stuffing balls actually because this is not gonna work out as well as it should do. Simply because this piece of meat is shocking. It just shows how they hide everything in the supermarket. But not to worry. We're still gonna turn it into a nice roast pork. It'll just probably break up when we, we come to slice it. Okay. We are going on there with some apple sauce. Pork and apple, fantastic. Now this is probably all gonna run out as it's cooking, but you know it's gonna keep everything moist and it'll have that sweetness in the middle. Let's just rub that on there. Oh, it looks superb already. 
what we got to try and do is roll this rubbish and then put that fat back round the top and then tie it so here comes the hard work Just roll it as best you can. We got that bit of pork, let's shove that in there. Now this is a shocking, shocking piece of meat. Put that on there and we're going to tie it the best we can. Right, I think that's the best we can do with that. Now you could actually stick some skewers in if you wanted. Just to set it off cooking and then take the skewers out when the meat shrinks in. But you know, I think that's the best we're going to get away with. It's a shocking piece of meat. So all we're going to do is put it on a tray. So let's have that off there. And put that on there. Like that okay so that's the best we can do with this meat it's absolutely crap okay let's not mince our words about it right what we need to do now is take some apple cider vinegar and put it over the skin just like that and a little bit of salt now don't worry about the apple cider vinegar the vinegar cooks off so i've got the oven already preheating let's just get that in the oven so in the oven and let's set it off cooking so I've got a whole host of vegetables here look I've got some baby carrots I've got some baby parsnips I've got some baby t potatoes I've got some sprouts I've got some sausages which I've just wrapped in a rasher of bacon pigs in blankets they're going to go in about half an hour towards the end. For our sprouts, we're not going to do any more than put that whole lot of sprouts in like that. That's all it needs to be. So we're going to go on there with a little bit of chopped bacon. That's going to cook through there with that nice bacon flavour. Black pepper always goes well with sprouts. A nice smidgen of black pepper and we're going to go over the top of there with a little bit of butter and that will be our sprouts prepped so just put a couple of bits of butter over there like that so that's our sprouts prepped ready we're going to shove those in the oven we're going to roast them so we can't do much more at the moment you know it's in the oven 190 degrees and what we'll do is we'll give it a looking at see how it's cooking now it's about 30 35 minutes per pound but this is a one and a half kilo uh, piece of meat it's a shocking piece of meat it might cook quicker because it's fatty and we've actually cut it all up so we'll have to keep our eye on it okay we've had about an hour and 10 minutes so let's get that pork out let's have a look at it and then dump all our stuff on that tray. Oh, there we are. So what we need to be doing, we need to be putting a little bit of oil on there. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our parsnips, they're going on. Get our carrots they're going on oh. a little bit more oil on there actually
and then we're going to take our stuffing balls and get those on there we're going to take our pigs in blankets get them on fill it up with the stuffing all that stuff on there goes back in the oven about another 35 minutes our sprouts and our butter that goes in the oven and what we'll do for quickness we'll actually put our potatoes in the air fryer okay I think what we need to be doing is getting this tray out of here that pork needs to come out at rest at least 10 minutes um, and then all the veggies and that will be finished off in the on the tray so let's get that on there right what we need to do is get that pork off there it's got crispy skin but it's not bubbled up smell smells absolutely fantastic out with the pork Ooh. on there oh just look at that oh fantastic what we need to do is bob that back in in the oven these parsnips are nearly done the carrots not quite there so let's get that back in there and what we'll do is we'll give this a quick a quick reading uh, to see what the internal temperature is but don't forget it's all rolled up and sliced and everything it's not a solid mass so this is going to be a real guest guide this pork is up to 65 which is already cooked so by the time it's settled for 10 minutes it'll be absolutely juicy tender inside right we've got a couple of things to do just to make this into a really nice dinner actually we're going to make a, a lovely uh, butter honey glaze to go over our carrots and parsnips and things so we want some butter in the pan now a good amount of butter because it is a butter honey sauce on with the flame give that a twirl around in there we don't want to burn the butter but we need to melt it down and add, add the honey and then the other thing we're going to do we're going to make some gravy but we're going to make it out of gravy granules this is a very simple recipe so as soon as we got our butter to melt in like that we want to go in with some honey and then we need to turn the flame down nice and gently because it is a honey butter sauce that's it basically we do not want to burn this or brown this we're not trying to give that nutty flavor through there that is it complete and all we'll do is drizzle that over our veg so a quick gravy gravy granules a little bit of boiling water get your fork and let's have it stirred in okay that's it all we need to do now is have a look at this pork this pork's rested for about 10 minutes so let's get this string off that we tied on all we need to do now is cut a couple of slices and serve up our meal so we'll take that off there oh look at that look at that juiciness in there with that pork so you can cut this into as big a chunks as you like oh 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 that is absolutely tremendous look at that oh let's cut another slice Oh, now that is how to turn a really crappy joint into something really nice. 
So before we serve this up, what we need to be doing, we need to be drizzling over our parsnips and carrots, some of that honey butter glaze. Oh, 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 oh. In fact, some of that can go on our sprouts as well. And for those that don't like sprouts, just look at that. Amazing. Okay, so let's plate this dinner up. Oh. Oh, and just get some of our gravy on there. Oh, look at that. That is incredible. Oh, look at that. Oh, and all we need is a little bit more applesauce. Oh, that is how to turn a really rubbish joint from the supermarket into a really nice meal. I'm going to have to have a splurge of the old yellow Coleman's mustard. Just look at that! That is absolutely superb! Amazing! Dead easy, we didn't do any work, it all done in the oven, finished. Now let's give it a taste test. Bit of this crackling. Oh, it's too, too hard. Oh, not to worry. Oh, a bit of pork. Now that is tender, tender, tender. Just look at that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Fantastic. Oh, a bit of our pigs in blanket. Mmm, mmm. That is amazing. I can't resist picking one of these roast parsnips up. Oh. Oh. Amazing. Oh. Guys, I'm going to crack on and stuff my face. If you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Oh. Catch you in the next video. Oh. Oh. Wow.